Now, I live in Southern California where I live in the Old West, really. I, I live outside of Los Angeles, as you can probably tell here. You know, they call me the cowboy of Calabasas where I live. Um, I thought a moose, I'd never seen a moose before, but I'm used to horses and things like that. And I thought that a moose was roughly the same size as a horse and how wrong I was because we were going down the street about 110 kilometers an hour and three of them come running out across the road and I was amazed the thing was almost the size of an elephant. I'd never seen an animal that big. I mean, I've ridden an elephant before and this thing was as tall as, as the elephant that I had ridden before. And I couldn't believe it. The thing come running across the road and we had a, a person with us at the time that was working for the local promoter. And it was a girl and she was terrified. I mean, she turned white as a sheet and I said, what's wrong? She says, a lot of people are killed up here every year because when the, the thing runs across the road, if, if a car hits it, it's like hitting a, a 600 pound brick wall at however fast you're going. So there's just flesh all over the street. Some belongs to the moose, some belongs to you. And I thought, hmm, I don't think I'd want to do that again. But I'll never forget it. I was sitting where the, dri the driver was on the other side, and I was on this side, and I saw this huge thing come running out, and it happened just within a split second. And I looked over, and there's this moose with his eye right in the window. Like, he's like trying to stick his He was trying to stop is what it was. It almost ran us off the road and killed us all. So I think from now on, we're gonna, we'll put up a, a moose catcher up in front of the vehicles that we have from now on. You have to be happy with yourself because when you're alone at night after a show and you're looking at a mirror and that's a very intimate type situation when there's no one else around. It's just you and yourself in that image one on one and there's no one around to pat you on the back to tell you how great you are. You better like what you see when you look in that mirror and if you don't then that's when all the demons start creeping into your head and that's where rock and roll can be a potentially evil thing because rock and roll is like the ocean. You can have a great time in it, but if you do not respect it, it will take your life. You've got to know where the edge is, but you have to be confident in yourself. What or who do you love most? Say that again? What or who do you love most? I sometimes wonder if I understand what that word means. Um, doing what we do, you become confused sometimes. You don't know what right from wrong is because there's so much going on around you. Doing what we do, one year of doing what we do for a living is equivalent to someone else's five. It is literally life in the fast lane. You don't always have a chance to see things as clearly as some other people might. Uh, the only passions that I have, and I wouldn't use the word love, but the only passion that I have is probably my cars. I, I collect Jaguars, and that's really the only thing that, when I'm doing it, takes my mind off of what I do for a living. <laughs>